This is the Betamax Man, and you're watching the Betamax Man, the one and only YouTube channel, supporting Sony, the one and only. Hi guys, the Betamax Man here. We've got a Sony SLS 600. Gonna do a unboxing. Um, so let's get it open. Now I want to go and uh, work on this today, but I can't because I've got a customer's machine that I've got to uh, fix today. But I thought I would do a real quick uh, video here. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, open it up and hopefully it arrived okay. And it looks like they packed it well, so looks like it's just fine. Um, so far so good. Uh, let's get a view of the machine. If you're wondering why I have this other box over here, um, you guys probably can't. Oh yeah, you can see it. This is uh, for my cat, because my cat, she likes to go in here. So that's why that other box is there during the day. Um, but uh, let's get this thing opened up. Um, it looks like uh, they did a good job packing it. They uh, did not have um, a power cord, so I'm going to have to solder it in. I'm just going to solder a uh, new, new plug onto the power supply, so that way we can get power. But they had no way of knowing if this thing even worked. He said that uh, it powered on. Um, he wasn't gonna uh, give the cord though. He he uh, had a cord to uh, power it on, but uh, he uh, said he was not gonna include that. Well, he should have included it, but he didn't. So I'm gonna hardwire one in. Um, this particular model, one of the uh, issues with this model is that the um, capstan motor um, goes dead um, and the reasoning for that is because the surface mounted uh, capacitor goes bad and this particular model this is the 711b3 chassis and this particular model uses the capstan motor for not only the capstan but it also drives the take up and supply rails so that's one thing that this this machine does now i think i do have a power cord that i could use to power it on uh even even if it doesn't power on um i can hardwire if i don't have a cord I'll, i can hardwire one in but uh, I don't know if I have one here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, hold on guys, because I think I got one that'll work, but... It may not be the right one, but we're going to try it. So let's just plug this in. We'll just try to see if we can get it to power on. Yeah, this is kind of a different plug, but it might work. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, so. Yeah, unfortunately, this cord's not going to work either, so we're going to, we're going to wire it up a power cord. The customer's machine, I'm going to work on it today and tomorrow, so 
What I might do is go ahead and just um, solder a new power cord to the power supply and power it up and and then we'll see uh, if it even works. Uh, this was purchased for I think eighty dollars with shipping so I got it for a good price. Uh, this is a super beta. Um, this one does play back the uh, Beta 1 uh, high band. So uh, that's one of the nice things about this particular uh, machine. Um, this machine is, is one of the uh, models that people like because of that reason. Um, and this is also a, I think it's a 15th year anniversary or something like that. Um, but this is a very nice machine. It's going to work just beautifully. So, um, uh, once I repair it, it'll work really good. So, for right now, that's all we got. Uh, I will do a video on, because uh, we're going to put a power uh, plug in it. Um, and then uh, we'll power it up and then we'll see. We'll go from there. So, uh, pretty nice machine, uh, you know. So, I, I've had several of these, and uh, I've liked them. Uh, the, you know, the surface-mounted electrolytic, you gotta... It's kind of a, a, a pain to, to get it off, but once you get that bad surface-mounted cap off, uh, you can solder a new cap in and it'll work. So if it has that issue, which I think it does, uh, we'll show you how to fix that. So uh, because if you have this model and you're having symptoms like it won't fast forward, it won't rewind, it won't play, this is a symptom. So that's what we're going to show you how to fix in the next video.